Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of The Garage. And as you can see, we have set the breakfast table, especially for you. And we think we have something here for everybody. As you can see, some fresh baked rolls, we have delicious fruit, and we have one of my breakfast favorites, cereal, as you can see here. You might be asking yourselves, what does breakfast and what does cereal have to do with Continental? Well, for this, we brought an expert, of course. And uh, today I'd like to welcome, I'm very happy that he's here, Dr. Oliver Maywald. And he is responsible for technology and innovation at the uh, powertrain division at Continental. And maybe you can tell us direct from the start what this has to do with your daily work. Continental has developed a new hybrid system. It's called 48 volt eco drive system. And I want really to demonstrate also with the breakfast, in particular with the cereals, how an efficient ride can be symbolized by using the, the cereals. Okay. With that, we can do a lot of incredible things, which in order really to help you as a driver of this vehicle to save fuel. So that means that actually I can save fuel and save money by eating cereal? Not exactly, Chris. Have a look. The brown ones really symbolizes gas or fuel. Mm -hmm. And the, the light one, symbolizes electricity. Mm -hmm. And you can save fuel with an intelligent mix of these both kinds of energy forms. Sounds and great. It is? Please fill in the gas, the brown cereals in the fuel tank of this car. Okay. So now, what does this mean? This is um, a blue vehicle. Equipped with a gasoline combustion engine. A nice car. Yeah, and this is, I would say, uh, the fuel tank and the fuel inside of this vehicle. Mm -hmm. The second disperser is really the same vehicle as the blue one, but in comparison, it is equipped with this 48 volt eco drive system of Continental. Okay. So, what's going to happen now exactly? I mean, what's going to happen with the dispensers? Chris, we drive. Drive? We drive with the dispensers. No way, how did you do that? This it's reminds me of my childhood. You know what, I had one of these as a kid. Put it in the same way here. Here we have the garage, so we are here, starting early in the morning. Exactly. And this is our target, it's the Continental Headquarter. We are starting at the garage, we are driving that way. We have to stop because there are some crossings and then we have to turn left to a traffic light. Mm -hmm. And when the traffic light is turned green, so we have to have a straight way, we lead down to the headquarters. But you gotta be careful on that spot. Yes, you have to. Please drive the blue car because it's the classic car, it's a conventional car. We start at the garage and really drive the first route uh, of okay, our- to this of, point? Yes, to this point, right, All please. Right. So, it was incredible, I guess. So. But by driving, you consumed fuel, mm -hmm. right? So right. please turn the nip probably three times All in right. order really to demonstrate the consumed fuel. Now, remember the same car equipped with a 48 volt car and I'm driving the same route. Following a little bit behind you, but I'm driving, but while driving, I'm using a hybrid function. And this hybrid function is called coasting. Okay. That means we are shut down the combustion engine while driving and so therefore we are saving fuel. But basically I could do the same with my combustion engine if I go into neutral. Yes, you can, that's correct, but the combustion engine is not switched off. True. So, right, and, this, that's, and that's the big difference. So that means we are able to shut down the combustion engine, the vehicle keeps completely fully operational, you feel comfortable, but you are saving fuel. True. And how much, you see, because I turn only maybe one time and a half for the same route. But I had the better sound. You have the better sound probably, but we will see later on at the end of the day. Okay, you consumed uh, fuel, turn the nib one time. I do the same, also accelerating, but now the difference to your drive was 
we are not using the brake pedals for deceleration. We are using a small electric motor in order to decelerate. And while we are decelerating, we are generating electricity. So that means you're actually getting energy back while driving? Exactly. And I demonstrate with these light serials the increase of this energy on I board. I get it. Now we have two energies available. In one tank. In one, or maybe in one vehicle, we but have two tanks, a battery and a fuel tank. So to say. You like it, right? Okay, okay. Park the plot right yes. in front of the okay. door. Please turn the nip two times. You know, I'm more the sporty driver. I saw you're the Sunday driver, so that's, I okay. guess, the big difference. Okay. Yeah. It's a different battle. Now, we are using the third hybrid function, and this hybrid function, it's called e-boosting. Mm -hmm. So that means the combustion engine is accelerating my vehicle, but on top of that, also this electric motor is accelerating much faster than your car. Well, let's show me as what you, you got. As you see, I'm driving, I'm accelerating, I'm... Oh. I got you. Okay. But I will also park, I would say, next to you. The combustion engine was not working so heavily. That means I have less fuel consumed mm -hmm. for this third maneuver. Have a look on our bolts. Uh, I have the feeling that you beat me in this one. Correct. Now take a look at that. Correct. So that means this is the fuel consumption. I have consumed less fuel as you did. Definitely. And you, have, of course, have more in your tank. Exactly. But how much uh, did you actually save? Based on our experience, 20-21% no in way. real driving. Really? That much? That much. Wow. That's cool. I'm pretty amazed. And I'd like to thank you very much for the information, how the uh, Echo Drive 48 volt system actually works. I know how it works now, and I hope you do too. But before you go, I'd like to take one more picture. Smile like you've never smiled before. <laughs> the Sunday driver. You get home safely. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you tune in again next time for a new episode of The Garage. See you then. Like I said, now it's time to